I have for you guys today is actually one of the most requested MW2 weapons I have here on the channel. And it kind of surprised me, the TR-76 Geist. I was fully expecting weapons like the MP7, the MP5, the Vaznev 9K, the TAC-56, the M4 to be a little bit more requested than the TR-76 guys, but honestly, I went through all my comments and there's like five or six different people asking for me to cover this thing. And I have an absolutely banger build for you today. It's pretty easy to use, probably most effective at like medium range, just simply due to the recoil pattern as a whole, but it's no slouch. I will say that much a very good option to be using here in Modern Warfare 3. Getting us started here with a comb, you're gonna want the FSS hard top comb. That's gonna increase your sprint to fire speed and aim down side speed. While this is very important because we're not sacrificing any recoil control, pretty rare on MW2 weapons. Normally when you gain ADS and sprint to fire, you are gonna be sacrificing recoil control. It is a very small 2% to ADS, but we are getting a massive 14% to sprint to fire speed. For the rear grip, you're gonna want the Stip 66 grip. Basically the rest of the build is going to be targeted around recoil control and every little bit is gonna add up. This is gonna give you 7% across the board, gun kick, vertical, and horizontal recoil control. For magazine here, I do like to run the 45 round mag it is a preference you can go with the 30 if you want to but with how the ttk is in this game i do like to have an extended mag just to pick up a couple extra kills if i get in a dangerous situation but again it is a preference style of attachment for the under barrel i'm using the kimura rin 03 vertical grip this weapon has much more of a vertical kick than it does a horizontal one so i found that this under barrel was kind of the best one to choose in this particular situation so the kimura rin is going to give you 14 percent to gun kick along with 12 percent to vertical recoil control where for an example normally i would go with something like the brune heavy support grip that is more targeted towards that horizontal recoil control in our final attachment is a muzzle with the quartermaster suppressor i'm sure none of you are surprised the best muzzle in the game at this point yes it's going to slow it down but as always the pros far away the cons here with the massive amounts of recoil to gun kick horizontal and vertical recoil control there so as you saw in the firing range and as you guys are about to see in the gameplay it is a pretty easy option to use but like i said definitely what i consider to be like a medium range option similar similar to something like the m4 or mtz 556 simply because once you get in those farther ranges the recoil does become a bit harder but if you guys want to try this out make sure you guys copy all these attachments down and as always here's the rest of my loadout on the screen if you guys wanted to copy this down make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me as you guys know liking the video is the easiest and most effective way to support the channel it tells the youtube algorithm that other people should see this tr76 geist build so make sure you guys hit the like button for me let's jump into today's gameplay hope you guys enjoy so i wanted to make it a point to cover the tr76 geist on an mw2 map because a lot of you already know i was a huge fan of mercado las almas one of my favorite maps in mw2 and i recently got a reply on a tweet from sledgehammer games and they told me that mercado was straight up removed from the game and i actually didn't know that i was extremely surprised to find out that there was some kind of problem with it i get i guess and they removed mercado just straight up from the game so let's just say i'm very disappointed about that and they don't know if there's actually going to be a timeline on when that map returns i uh, very disappointing to say the least as someone who is i'm not gonna say i was a mercado merchant but one of my most successful maps for sure all right they're up here i almost tweaked i didn't know where they were at for a minute there was a guy upstairs here I have the car 98 in case I need to take a long range fight that I'm not comfortable taking. That is tragic. I have never seen that spawn before. I've been playing this map for how long? I have never seen that spawn before in my life. So I no longer have a car 98. Never once that that's odd. I don't know if they changed a spawn with like an update, but I mean, the these spawns have been the same. The hotel spawns have been the same since MW2, so I don't know what the, the thought process is here as to changing something. 
I don't think that it made it better. You know what I mean? I don't think that that spawn made that hill better by any means. All right, we're back in it. Just a, hard to predict something when you're so used to. Let's just like, like let's just use that spawn as an example. When you're so used to a certain spawn system in place that you can predict it, and then things change out of nowhere. It's like the pros have had a problem with that all year. The pros like they go, they get a new patch, and all their spawns change, and that matters, especially for a game mode like hardpoint control. Not so much domination because you can predict that pretty easily. Good shots out of that guy, actually. That was great shots. That hurt. All right, now we're in it. Advanced UAV. Now we're in it. Hold on. Time to go. Time to get active. Nope. We'll take it from this angle. Got one down. Doing some damage now. Twenty. Twenty-two. My team kind of flipped the spawn here. I think they're pushing up, so I think they're going to spawn over here. No, they're not. But I got to be careful of it. Come on, yeah. Okay. I can't push forward with the riot shield guy there, you know? I kind of want to abandon this, actually, I think. Okay, one of two things are going to happen here. He peeked out. Okay, I thought... Okay, he had an FJX Horus, so I actually would have been in some big danger if I pushed that with the Geist and didn't expect him. Could have been a really bad situation. Nope, not going to reach you. Not going to reach all that. Thank you. Nope, I'm good. Holy man, imagine if he had his rise shield out, I would have tweaked. I would have tweaked. I know a lot of you would have tweaked too. Only 42, but plenty of time here to pick up the count. Advanced UAV again. This guy's gonna be confused. Not gonna know where I came from. How did he get behind me? What the heck? Keep the streets rolling.
Plenty of time here. Need recon overhead. Oh, I didn't think they were going to spawn here. I was waiting on my UAV ping. What can you do? See, because we're spawning here now, so I don't know. Expect them something a little different, I think. All right, where they got? Should be in front of me. I'm hit. Don't need that open just yet. Maybe not. Friendly airstrike in the AO. Dust it Oh, that's the whole squad, bro. Oh, I thought I was about to do something cool. I thought there was going to be like two or three of them. They weren't even going to see me coming. I was going to sneak underneath. Thought we were going to have something special there. If we jump this hill, I got to hit the new. I think I'm just going to hit it. I don't want to risk it here. All I need is my team to jump the hill and then I'm not able to call it in, so. Ladies and gentlemen, that's GG's over on Breenberg Hotel. That's 76 kills.